All right, so let's look at this one. Let's draw the free body diagram for beam AB uh, to determine the reaction forces at pin A and pin B. So uh, this doesn't look like a pin. I would have thought that might be fixed, uh, but it says it, it is pin A uh, right here. So there's a pin right there. Let's draw the free body diagram. What would this free body diagram look like? A pin, I've got AX and AY. I've got 600 newtons right here. Now, right here, it... That looks like a pin. It says it's a pin. I, 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 my first instinct is to draw a BX and a BY. Uh, but do you notice that this is pinned and that looks pinned? This is a two force member. So I know that the, the force at B or at C is along this line. So I'm going to draw my BX and BY I'm around, just as an FB along this line. Now let's be careful, this is over 2 up 1.5, hypotenuse 2.5 a squared plus b squared equals c squared. All right, and then here I'd have 800 newtons. I also have 900 newton meter and applied couple moment, a free vector right there. The, the dimensions, 1 meter, 1 meter, didn't draw this very well, 2 meters. Let's stick with an xy axes. So let's sum the forces in x. Ax and let's see the 2 over 2.5 component of Fb equals 0. Uh, jump to Fy. Summing the forces in y. Ay minus 600. Uh, Fb the 1.5 over 2.5 component minus 800 equals zero. Uh, still can't solve. I probably should have just started with summing the moments about A. Summing the moments about A. AX goes straight through it. AY goes straight through it. 600 is acting one away, creating a negative moment. Uh, the FB, uh, the 1.5 over 2.5 component, right, would be that one. It is acting two meters away, creating a positive, mom positive moment. I don't worry about that one because it looks like it would be acting through the middle. Now, now be careful. Sometimes this force is at the bottom of the beam or the top of the beam. And if you look carefully, where is point A? Is point A at the bottom or the top? You know, if they told us the thickness of the beam, then, then this force may not exactly act straight through. Uh, but if it doesn't tell us the thickness, we can assume it's straight through. I think here from the figure, you can tell that that pin, that and that one, they are along the same uh, line of action. So there's no FB, the 2 over 2.5 component. All right, the um, 800 is acting 4 away, creating a negative moment. And then I've got that 900. Uh, it is clockwise, so it is negative. I, I've, I've been defining everything as positive counterclockwise. Notice I don't say 900 times 4 meters. That 900 is a moment to itself. It's a free moment. Uh, it doesn't matter that it's 4 meters away. It's just a clockwise 900 newton meter moment. Uh, so I would get FB 3917. Came out positive, so I guess the correct direction. Go back, plug it in right here. I've got AY negative 950. What I want you to do... Uh, AY is 950 newtons, and it is down. Uh, plug in 3917. AX is negative 3133. So AX 3133 newtons that direction. And again, don't really erase it completely. Just kind of draw a line through it and draw it the correct direction. What am I looking for? These three values drawn correctly on your free body diagram. Those three values drawn correctly on your free body diagram. All right, and noticing that this force B is a two force member, right? BC is a two force member. So knowing its direction kind of uh, allowed me, alleviated those unknowns, allowed me to see that there were, um, there's only one unknown right there at FB. And along with my two unknowns at A, those are my three unknowns that I can solve for my three equilibrium equations.